families, and welcome to the annual Rocky Mountain High School Music Department Award Concert. Now, more than ever, it is important to recognize and celebrate all of your fine accomplishments. My name is Tyler Nickel, I'm Assistant Principal, and lucky enough to be the Fine Arts Liaison to the Music Department. Students in the Music Department have had a rich and varied experience this year. They have done things like Skype calls and discussions with some of the most respected professionals in the music field. This included Rocky Mountain singers working with composer Sidney Guillaume, Summit Winds working with co composer Viet Quang, and the entire music department speaking with cellist Steve Nelson from the Piano Guys. He's famous on YouTube, check him out. Sirens had the opportunity to work in person with nationally known composer and arranger Carrie Marsh. Many of our ensembles had extra memorable performances this year, including Summit Winds and Rocky Mountain Winds, who performed at the CBA Regional Band Concert, and both were invited to the CBA State Concert Band Festival. Prima Voce did a special joint performance with Arvada West, which led to an invitation to perform with the Professional Chamber Choir in Denver, on Amia. The symphony orchestra was selected to perform at the Asta State Orchestra Festival and presented an amazing performance at the Colorado Music Ed Educators Association State Convention in January. While every student in our ensemble is part of what makes our ensemble special, we had 25 this year that were performing at a level that garnered them all state invitations. With that, we will begin tonight's program as we do each year with the introduction of students that have received a medallion for their services this year. As a reminder, the medallions serve much like an athletic letter. Students earn points for things that they do over the course of the year, and based on the total number of points they receive, they are awarded medallions. For students that have earned 100 points, they receive a red ribbon attached to their medallion. Students who earn 200 points have a gold ribbon, 300 points a white ribbon, 400 points for a black ribbon. We will also be recognizing those students who earned over 500 points while at Rocky and reward their work with the coveted Crimson Award. So with that, thank you for your attention. Thank you for joining us for this special recognition. And now to the awards concert, virtual edition.
Each year, we ask students in all of the major performing ensembles to vote for one student who is deserving of the Outstanding Member Award. We ask students to consider things such as attitude, character, integrity, commitment, musicianship, work ethic, and dependability. I am pleased to announce this year's winners in Symphonic Band, Arabella Dunnington, Summit Winds, Dylan Lindsay, and Rocky Mountain Winds, Braden Dowdy. James McNeil was the first orchestra and jazz band director at Rocky Mountain High School when the school opened in 1973 until he retired from teaching 32 years later in 2005. While I never personally had the opportunity to work with Mr. McNeil, his reputation for excellence and commitment to doing what is best for students persists in so many areas of Rocky Mountain High School. His service to our school and our music department has had a long-lasting impact. To that end, the James McNeil Vocal and Instrumental Jazz Awards go to individuals who strive for excellence and show a commitment to Rocky Jazz. This year's recipient of the Instrumental Jazz Award is someone who has spent three years playing in Rocky Jazz. In addition to being an invaluable member of the Rocky Jazz program, the student was selected earlier this year to perform with the Northern Colorado High School Honor Jazz Band. He can most often be found playing the lead trumpet part with Rocky Jazz. The lead trumpet player in a jazz band is largely responsible for setting style, articulation, note length, dynamics, and many other musical elements. This young man has filled this role with confidence and humility. Although we didn't get to attend the UNC Greeley Jazz Festival this spring, this student was preparing a Duke Ellington trumpet feature called Boy Meets Horn to be featured with the band at the end of April. It has been a joy to watch this young man grow and mature as a musician and a person over the past several years. It is my pleasure to present the James McNeil Instrumental Jazz Award to Christopher Usry. Mr. Curtis Johnson was the musical master and director of the fine bands at Fort Collins High School in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. He was a man of excellence, character, and integrity, was esteemed throughout our state, and had a reputation known throughout the region. I first met Mr. Johnson when I was hired at Lesher Junior High School. Even though he had been retired for 20 years, he was quick to sit me down, fill me in on the expectations for excellence in the district, and teach me what was expected by the music staff in Poudre School District. I can tell you this, I was deeply impressed by his ongoing commitment to the music programs in the district. He held extremely high expectations of himself, his students, and his co-workers. Johnson Elementary School was named after both he and his wife, Mary. This year's recipient of the Curtis M. Johnson Outstanding Band Member Award displays those same qualities of excellence, character, and integrity. Their strong leadership, selflessness, musicianship, and character make them not only a wonderful member of the band family, but a true leader in the Lobo Pack. They are someone that we can truly count on to step up and run rehearsals or call sectionals. In the band program, we believe very strongly that it's about the process, not the product, and the life lessons you learn through the medium of band. This person has taken those life lessons to all areas. We are grateful for the leadership and musicality that they have shared with all of us in the Lobo community by their membership in the Rocky Mountain Bands, the Symphony Orchestra, the Woodwind Quartet, and the Music Theater Pit Orchestra, as well as a student director in the Rocky Mountain Spirit Band. It's my pleasure to present the Curtis Johnson Outstanding Band Member Award to Chelsea Parker.
Me and Sam in the car talking about America Heading to the wishing well We've reached our last resort I turned to him, said man help me out I fear I'm on an island in an ocean full of change Can't bring myself to dive into an ocean full of change Am I losing touch? Am I losing touch now? He said Why, why, what a terrible time to be alive If you're prone to overthinking it Why, why, what a terrible time to be alive If you're prone to second-guessing it Hey, pretty smiling people We're all right together, we're all right together Get in turns to dream about the lottery What we might have done if we had entered and had won it. We're each convinced that nothing would have changed But if this were the case, why is it a conversation anyway? Are we losing touch? Are we losing touch now? He said Why, why, what a terrible time to be alive If you're prone to overthinking it Why, why, what a terrible time to be alive If you're prone to second-guessing it Hey, pretty smiling people We're all right together, we're all right together Just get up and try again 
As Mr. Sherman stated earlier, it is a great honor to receive the Ensemble Award from your peers. It shows a great deal of character and leadership, and we all appreciate what these students have done this year. It is my honor to congratulate Kate Sahosky for being selected to receive the Capriccio Ensemble Award.
This year's outstanding Combrio member is Erica Bomer. It is my honor to congratulate Trinity Bringer for being selected to receive the Prima Voce Ensemble Award. The outstanding member of Rocky Mountain Singers is Ashley LaMontagne. This year's recipients of the James E. McNeil Award in the vocal jazz area are both incredibly reliable and dedicated to the program. They both come well prepared to class and are consistently willing to do what is best for the ensemble. Both students bring a sense of maturity to each rehearsal as well as excellent musicianship and skill. Mrs. Holweiler and I agree that they are both true models of good rehearsal etiquette and readiness. They are positive, bright people that bring joy to their endeavors and to those around them. They support their peers and strive to be the best that they can be. One student is always willing to try something new, pushes herself outside of her circle of comfort, works to be a positive force for those around her, and has a wonderful gift of music. She is a three-year member of Spotlight. The second student is also a three-year member of Spotlight and a second-time recipient of the James McNeil Award. His consistent and thoughtful contributions to class, along with his responsible nature, care of his peers, and the beauty of his voice reveal why it is no wonder he has received this award twice. Without his consistency and support, our program would not be what it is. Please congratulate the recipients of this year's James McNeil Vocal Jazz Award, Katie Bastian and Andy Weber. Catherine E. Bowder was born on September 13, 1893 in Whitewater, Wisconsin. However, she graduated from Fort Collins High School in 1911. She received her bachelor's degree from Colorado State University and completed graduate work at Northwestern University and the University of Southern California. Ms. Bowder began teaching music in Glenwood, Iowa in 1913 and taught music in the Poudre School District from 1930 until her retirement in 1959. Two years before her passing, she attended the dedication of a new elementary school in our district, which proudly bears her name. Ms. Bowder was a vocal instructor and served as the supervisor of elementary music in PSD for 36 years. Those who knew her recall that she was a teacher of the highest level and was very talented in her work. This year's Catherine E. Bowder Outstanding Choral Student has been a shining light in our program for four years not just because of their extraordinary musical talent, but also because of their unbelievable nurturing spirit and contributions to the family dynamic within our department. Not a day went by when I didn't hear this person give someone a compliment or tell them how much they were respected and admired. That sort of positive energy and encouragement has made a huge difference to so many within our department, both students and staff alike. Not only is this student extremely kind, thoughtful, and supportive, but they have also proven to demonstrate a remarkable amount of grit, courage, and versatility under stressful circumstances. These characteristics are just a few of the reasons we have selected this student to be recognized as an outstanding contributor to the choral program this year. During this student's time at Rocky, she has been a member of Capriccio, Prima Voce, Rocky Mountain Singers, Sirens, Spotlight, and Echoes. This year, she's also been a member of Bellabos, specifically so she could share the stage with her sister, who is currently a freshman in our program. She's also been a member of the musical theater cast, holding leading roles the last two years, a member and officer within the Triumph Music Honor Society, and a member of the Colorado All-State Choir. This student's extraordinary level of participation is a testament to her flexibility and commitment to personal growth. It has been an absolute pleasure to watch this student grow into a gifted musician and performer. I'm thrilled to share that this student plans to continue her study of music at the University of Denver in the fall to pursue a degree in vocal performance and theater. Mr. Thompson and I are so proud of her musical accomplishments and the growth she has made so far in her journey, and we can't wait to see what her future holds. It is our pleasure to present this year's Catherine E. Bowder Outstanding Choral Award 
to Emma Stone. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life I was up this morning By your side, you know I'll take your hand When it gets cold and it feels like the end There's no place to go, you know I won't give in No, I won't give in Keep holding on Cause you know we'll make it through, we'll make Wish 
you were here Before it's too late This could all disappear Before the doors close And it comes to an end With you by my side I will fight and defend I'll fight and defend
The Outstanding Ensemble Member Award are voted on by the members of each ensemble. The students are asked to consider character, musicianship, and leadership when choosing their Outstanding Ensemble Member. It is a huge honor to be selected for this by your peers, so please help me congratulate this year's Concert Orchestra Outstanding Ensemble Member, Oneida Lepe. This year's Sinfonietta Outstanding Ensemble Member, Zoe Lorenz and this year's Outstanding Symphony Ensemble member, Colin Lucasio. Congratulations to all and thank you for your hard work throughout the year. We have named the Outstanding Orchestra Member Award for T. Carol A. G the man who started and developed the orchestra program in the Fort Collins School District in 1947. Mr. Ag was an outstanding and devoted orchestra director at Fort Collins High School for 14 years. His orchestras were selected to perform at the Colorado Music Educators State Convention and were praised as some of the finest orchestras in the country. It is due to his vision and distinguished career that a high standard exists in the orchestral programs in Poudre School District. Our recipient for the T. Carol A.G. Orchestra Award is an outstanding musician who has, in, who has been impressing me since their arrival to our program four years ago. They are astonishingly talented on their instruments, but also in their academic pursuits. Despite their hard-earned talents, this person continues to remain humble, kind, sometimes bashful, and other times a little bit spacey. They have been a member of concert orchestra, symphony orchestra, Rocky Mountain Winds, Capriccio, Rocky Mountain Singers, Spotlight, and Chamber Music. Outside of school, this person has been accepted to and participated in Combined League Honor Orchestra, Western States Honor Orchestra, Colorado All-State Orchestra, and Colorado All-State Choir. They have shown significant dedication to growing their musical skills through commuting to lessons in Greeley every week for several years, as well as playing chamber music in the evenings through Off the Hook Arts always enjoyed listening to this person play as their musicianship is excellent and always improving. This person has also served on orchestra leadership as one of our cello section leaders. There are probably many other things that this person has done throughout their time at Rocky, but they've never told me about them because despite his many achievements, he continues to remain humble and seemingly uninterested in accolades. In addition to his many musical achievements, this person can be extremely funny if you're fortunate enough to catch his dry and quiet sense of humor during a rehearsal or class discussion. He is patient in working with others, allowing people to take the time they need to learn new skills and giving them space to figure, figure things out while always being eager to help when needed. This person is sweet, interesting, a great conversationalist and systematically hardworking. I'm so proud of the growth that this student has made personally, academically, and musically throughout his time at Rocky Mountain High School. The improvement of organization in his backpack alone is substantial. While he will be greatly missed in Rocky Orchestras, he will surely be cherished at the University of Puget Sound, where he will be attending on a full ride scholarship. He is unsure of his degree plan, but has interest in many fields of study, including math, engineering, Chinese, and music. The recipient of the 2020 T. Carol A.G. Orchestra Award goes to Liam Kimball. Congratulations, Liam. Good luck next year, and don't forget to come back and visit us. This next award is meant to recognize students we feel have demonstrated exemplary character during their time in the Rocky Music Department. Webster's Dictionary defines the word character as the attributes and features that make up and distinguish an individual. We are pleased to have named this award after a former Rocky Mountain High School music student who displayed outstanding character. Kayla was a, Kayla Adsit was a vibrant, beautiful young lady who was just three weeks from her graduation from Rocky Mountain High School when she was killed in a tragic car accident. According to family and friends, Kayla's motto was, live to make a difference. We believe that she would be so proud and humble 
to know just how much of a difference she has made to those who knew her or simply knew of her. Ayla played clarinet, saxophone, and piano and sang in multiple choirs. I never had the pleasure of knowing Kayla personally, but the people who did have said that she always tried to help others in the classroom. She felt passionate about raising the bar for the entire ensemble rather than being concerned about being the best individual. Kayla lived her definition of something we call the Lobo way. And we are thankful to Eric and Lisa Adsit for giving us their blessing to name this award the Kayla Adsit Character Award. The recipients of this award are all very talented musicians. They represent all three of the major performance areas of the Army Jazz Music Department. They have all displayed excellent character and we are grateful for what they have brought to Rocky. These are the people that you can always find in the hallway smiling, helping others, um, or congratulating people for doing a great job. Please help me in congratulating this year's recipients of the Kayla Adsit Character Award, Skylar Holopoff, Aslan Heath, and Wyatt Etchity. Congratulations, and thank you so much for all that you've contributed to Rocky Mountain High School and the music department. When the music staff gets together to determine who will receive the Outstanding Musician Award, we start by nominating students that have been outstanding in our individual areas. After we make nominations, we talk about all the great things these students have done while at Rocky. For me, it's a wonderful time to reflect on all the amazing things that all of our students have done throughout their time. The winner of the Outstanding Musician Award has been key to the success of every ensemble they've participated in through both their musicianship and leadership. Their peers are constantly showing a high level of respect both in and out of the rehearsal. They have served on the band leadership team for three years and is a true leader for the entire music program through their work with the Tri-M Music Honor Society. As a musician, they have become one of our best, developing independently through their work in the Rocky Chamber Music Program and as a member of the band, orchestra, and music theater programs. They have studied privately with many of the state's leading players. They've also studied music abroad, representing America at an international orchestra camp in Germany. This outgoing person has been a member of the Northern Colorado Honor Band, Colorado State University Honor Band, and the Colorado All-State Orchestra. As a future music educator, they have begun their career path as a teaching assistant for multiple teachers. They are flexible, have integrity beyond reproach, and a perpetual great attitude. In fact, it is only their great attitude that people see. In private, we can discuss concerns of students and rehearsal strategies, but when standing in front of the group, all those students ever see is the love that they are constantly displaying to each one of their peers. This person thrives in situations where they are constantly challenged and has always met and exceeded the expectations of the group. By now, it's pretty obvious who I'm talking about. We wish him the best of luck as he moves on to study music education at the University of Northern Colorado in the fall. Please help me congratulate our 2019-2020 Outstanding Music Student, Mr. Will Young. Craig Woodall, principal, coming to you from the stairs that were used for Shrek the Musical on top of our auditorium stage. I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you to everyone who is part of our performing arts program. Clearly, we all wish this would have been a normal concert. It's my favorite concert of the year. I love hearing how our band, choir, and orchestra all come together and celebrate the amazing works that you've done all year long. So I'm sorry that we didn't get to experience that. But in general, I hope that your experience in our performing arts programs, either as a parent, as a staff member, or as a student, has been positive. And I would hope that some of your memories include our incredible concerts, but there is so much more, and let's not forget that. 
the amazing relationships that you have built over the years. I get to walk through your halls all the time and I hear the laughter. I see the relationships, I see the camaraderie. Please take that with you, especially you seniors as you go from here. And let's not forget the skills you have developed that you can carry on for the rest of your life, singing, playing instruments that so many people wish, like myself, that I could do, that you now are an expert in. So please remember those things as you go forward. To our ninth, 10th and 11th graders, you still have an opportunity to give back to this program. We expect a lot from you. Our seniors have set that bar high for you and we hope you can respond to that. To our incredible staff, Mrs. Elizabeth Holweiler, Mr. Chris Thompson, Mr. Ron Lebon, Mr. Kenyon Sherman, Mr. Scott Schlupp, Ms. Courtney Dowling, Ms. Robin Pettinger, you are incredible. The countless hours that you have put in to help these students become better versions of themselves is inspiring. And I appreciate that very much. So I'm sorry that we were not able to gather one last time, but I am very appreciative to all of you, parents, for the hours you put in, helping fundraise, sitting at concerts, driving around. We could not have pulled off what we we're able to pull off in this building without you. So thank you, students. Thank you, parents. Thank you, staff, for all that you do to make Rocky Mountain High School Performing Arts what it is. I appreciate you all very much. Thank you.